Hi everyone, this is Rohan and in this video, I am going to explain to you the concept of sway frames and non-sway frames. Come, let's learn. A frame is called non-sway if it does not deflect in the horizontal direction. For example, if we have a portal frame like this where a point load acts right at the midspan of the beam section, then the deflected shape of the frame would be something like this. Now, if you notice the rigid joints here, you may notice that there are rotations, but the joints itself are not deflecting either to the left or to the right. So therefore, there is no horizontal deflection. So therefore, this is a non-sway frame. However, a frame is called as sway frame if it deflects in the horizontal direction. So let us take the same uh, frame into consideration, but now let us have a load like this acting on the beam section. So the deflected shape will be something like this. And now as you can notice, the rigid joints have deflected towards the right. So there is a horizontal deflection. So therefore this is called as a sway frame. Now, if I give you a frame where you can see the geometry of the frame, the support system, as well as the loading. Now, can you say whether it is a sway frame or a non-sway frame just by looking at these things? Well, the answer is yes. So let us see what are the factors that affect the sway in a frame. So the first factor is the presence of unbalanced horizontal loading on the frame. Now, as you can see here, this 20 kN horizontal load is unbalanced. So therefore, this will cause the frame to sway, most probably towards the right. Now, if I have a 20 kN acting equally and opposite to this load, so this becomes a balanced horizontal loading. So therefore, there will be no horizontal deflection and therefore this will be a non-sway frame. But again, if I have a 10 kN like this, which is unbalanced, so then again, it will be a sway frame. So I hope you understand how the presence of an unbalanced horizontal loading on the frame can cause it to sway. Secondly, the presence of unsymmetrical or eccentric vertical loading will also cause a frame to sway. For example, this, this is not acting at the mid span. It is acting at some distance from the uh, uh, right hand side. But if you see, if a equal load is acting equally from the left hand side, then it becomes a symmetric vertical loading. Again, this kind of system will not allow the frame to sway. Okay, so it becomes a non-sway frame. But if there is a random UDL acting here for some span, then again, this becomes an unsymmetrical loading, unsymmetrical vertical loading. So again, this will become a sway frame. So the presence of unsymmetrical or eccentric vertical loading will make a frame into a sway frame. Thirdly, if the geometry of the frame itself is unsymmetrical, like here you can see this column length is different from this column length. So this is an unsymmetrical geometry of the frame. So in this case also, the frame will be a sway frame. Fourthly, if the supports at the end of the columns are different, then also it will be a sway frame. It doesn't matter if the geometry is symmetrical and the loading also is symmetrical. If the supports are different, at the end supports are different, then it will be a sway frame. Fifth, non-uniform sections of the columns of the frame. So as you can see here, this column on the left has a moment of inertia of 3i and the column on the right has a moment of inertia of i. If this is the case, then it will be a sway frame. Even if the geometry is symmetrical, the loading is symmetrical, the supports are same. But if the sections of the columns are non-uniform, then it will be a sway frame. Here's something interesting that I would like to tell you that it does not matter if the uh, section of the beam part of the frame is uniform or non-uniform with the columns. If this is I and this is I and the beam here is 2I, then still it will be a non-sway frame. 
only and only when the columns have non-uniform section, then only this will be a sway frame. I hope that is clear. So let's move on to number six, which is settlement of supports of the frame. Yes, if one of the supports of the frame settles, then the deflected shape will be like this. And as you can see, so this will become a sway frame because the rigid jointeds have both have a horizontal deflection. Number seven is if there is a combination of two or more of these factors. So as you can see in this diagram, there is unbalanced horizontal loading. There is unsymmetrical vertical loading. The geometry of the frame is unsymmetrical. The uh, end supports are not the same. The sections of the columns are uh, section properties of the columns are not the same. So all of this combined will lead to it being a sway frame. And lastly, very important is that there should be an absence of a horizontal support, right? Because you see here, if there is a horizontal support, whatever may be the unsymmetry or whatever all the other factors are there, this support will not allow a sway. So in order for a frame to have a sway, the frame must not have a horizontal support, right? So. I hope now you will be able to answer this question that whether this is a sway frame or a non-sway frame. I want you to take a good look at the geometry of this figure, the loading as well as the support system and pause this video and try to answer this question. All right, welcome back. I hope you have uh, solved this question. Now, if you have said that because of the unsymmetry of the geometry, the unsymmetry of the loading and the different supports, this is a sway frame, then I'm sorry, your answer is wrong. Actually, the correct answer is it is a non-sway frame. And the reason behind that is this support here. Okay. So if you have given the answer as non-sway frame, then your answer is correct. And the reason, as I told you, is this horizontal restraint, right? So even if it is so unsymmetrical, the loading, the geometry and the supports are also not the same. But just because of this support here, it becomes a non-sway frame. So let us test our knowledge a little further and let us try to answer another question. Now I ask you, why is this a sway frame? So I'm already telling you that this is a sway frame, right? And I've given you four options here. Multiple options are correct. So, you know, A, C, D, B, C, I mean, all of those uh, are possible. So please pause this video for a while and try to answer why this is a sway frame. All right, welcome back. So let us see what are the reasons for which this is a sway frame. So the first uh, answer here, unsymmetric geometry of the frame. Yes, the length of column AB is different from length of column CD. So therefore, yes, this is one of the reasons why this is a sway frame. Second, presence of different end supports. Yes, A and D are different end supports and definitely that uh, is one of the factors for sway. But number three, that is non-uniform section of the members of the frame. You see here, A and AB a, and CD both have the value as I. Only the beam has two I. And as I already told you, it does not matter uh, what is the uh, section property of the beam. So this is not one of the reasons why the frame is swaying. Lastly, settlement of supports of the frame. Well, uh, A and D might be at different levels, but none of them are settling. Okay, so this is also not the correct answer. So I hope you have answered this correctly. And I also hope that you have understood this concept. If you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comments below. Thank you for your time.